Hey guys, Ryan Cheney ELR here out at the range with the world famous Steve Ream who's behind the camera. Hi guys. And uh, got a little experiment today, something that I kind of thought up that uh, I don't think has been done before. So we're going to do a one shot, one take deal. I'm doing some load development work with my Snipe Tack 390 grain A tips. I've got a couple of Type K thermocouples here and what I've come up with, got a piece of my brass. Ran the thermocouple through the brass, got some silicone tape, so I can take a temperature reading from the inside of the barrel right where the bullet would sit. I've also got another one that is taped with silicone tape right to the uh, end of the chamber, which is basically gonna coordinate the exact outside of where um, the inside thermocouple is gonna be. So uh, right now it's around 82 degrees out here. Um, we're gonna go shot for shot, and take a temperature reading after every shot. In ELR, um, there's a big emphasis on cold bore. I'm really curious uh, how much actual temperature you see after one shot. Um, in ELR, you get, um, uh, the for the cold bore records, you gotta go three for three. And I hear a lot of times the guys that go one round, two round, and then miss the third round, you hear, oh, you're baking it, you're baking it, which happened to me too down at Valdina Ranch. So, and Steve too. So, um, curious after two shots, how hot it actually gets and if it actually is baking so we're going to find out i don't think anybody has this data yet so this should be interesting so um i'm going to leave this round right here so that we can measure temperature after every shot uh steve is going to run camera and show uh, the one on the left is the outside of the barrel tip the one on the right is inside barrel tip and i've got um, five shots of 141 grain of h50 then we're gonna do three shots 142, three shots 143, 11 shots total, which is typically a first round of, uh, typically a first round of ELR, an uh, ELR match. So we're gonna see how hot it actually gets. Um, all the same time, I'm gonna be getting some, some speed and groups uh, for this load development. So we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of things at once. So let's, uh, let's get started. Radar is aimed good for a rock. So it didn't really go up much. So we'll do internal, let's see, 90, 93, and that went 30, 31 cold bore. Okay. Ninety-two, eighty-nine. Yeah, we got the probe in. Oh. Ninety-two, ninety-four. Ninety-three, ninety-four. Let, let it climb. It might climb for a second. Ninety-two, ninety-four. Ninety-three, 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 nin
26 101. Yep. Not as hot as I thought it would be. We have achieved even temp. Wow, 108, 108. How many shots is that? That was shot five. Shot five. Fourteen one sixteen. Ten. I'm gonna do eleven total. Okay. That's a cold bore and cold bore. Cold bore and a ten. And a stage one and two. One nineteen. One twenty.
inside's considerably warmer that time. So it's really starting to heat up now. 118, 123. Still pretty consistent. Still pretty consistent to about four degrees per shot. Last shot coming up. Last shot. wind blowing probably affecting the exterior temperature. It should be fairly well covered, but I think you might be right. I'm going to call it 119, 125. Maybe 120, but that's where it popped up to. So starting off at at uh, you know, 81 degrees and 11 shots, picked up around 40, 44 degrees of temperature. So it really averaged about four degrees per, per shot with this rifle. So um, that's less heat than I thought there would be. Uh, so hope you guys learned something from this, this test. But uh, I'm actually learned one thing that was pretty interesting is after shot two, you know, being only 96 degrees, I mean, that's just a hot summer day. So I don't really see that, that round baking in there for shot three. Um, the second thing I've learned is that it's a fairly consistent increase in, in, um, in temperature after every shot. So you can almost calculate that based on, you know, how many shots you're, you've taken. And uh, if that may actually affect, and actually may, may make them uh, run faster depending on what powder that you run. But uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, follow, and uh, if you got any other ideas for anything you want me to test, just let me know. Thanks.